Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video we saw how to extrapolate the values inside the table itself, but sometimes we're asked to find the z value. And the z value may not exactly correspond with the percentage of the area that we're looking for, and so we may need to extrapolate for the z value as well. So here's an example. Let's say that we're asked to find the z value such that 60% of the area lies to the right. So we're looking for the z value corresponding to this point right here. So this is the point x. And we need to find the z value, the number of sigmas, the number of, of standard deviations to the left of the mean. And of course, we're always going to have the reference point at the halfway point, the line that re represents the mean. So we're looking at this area being 10%, which is the same as looking for this area being 10%. It doesn't matter, you get the same z value either way. So essentially, we're looking for the z values corresponding to 0.1 in the table, or 10%. And if we go look at the table, we realize that when z equals 0.25, it corresponds to 0.09871, which is 9.871%. And if we take z equals 0.26, it corresponds to 10.257%. So what is the z value that corresponds to 10%? Well, it's somewhere in between these two values, and we need to extrapolate it. So the first thing we need to know is to find out where 10% falls in between these two numbers. So first of all, let's take the difference between the two. So we have 10.257%. Subtract from that 9.871%. And when we do that, we get 6, 15 minus 7 is 8, 11 minus 8 is 3, and 0. So it would be 0.386%, which is the difference between those two. So let's spread them out. So here we have 9.871%, and here we have 10.257%. Uh, and the z value here, z is equal to 0 0.25, and I'll add a 0. And here we have z equals 0 0.260, and again I add the 0. So here we find we're looking for a z somewhere in between. Where in between? Well, we'll find out in just a moment. So where does 10% fall? 10%. And let me write it as 10% with three zeros so that we stay uniform here. Okay, so 10.000%. How's that? So first of all, the difference here between this and this number, that would be the delta, that would be 0.129%. And the dis distance between here and here would be 0.257%. So you can see that the number is closer to this than it is to that. Hmm, so, um, I think I said that wrong. We're actually closer to this number than we are to this number. This is farther away from 10% than this number. So, what fraction is this, course, is this corresponding to? So, if we divide this number by that number, so we get 0 0.129 divided by 0 0.386, we get a fraction. So 0.129 divided by the whole difference of 0.386, we get, uh, let me try it again, 129 divided by 386, we get, yes, 0.334. So this is about 0.33 over 100, or 33 over 100, and this is about 67 over 100. So since we're only looking for one more decimal place, let's call this approximately 3 tenths, and let's call this approximately 7 tenths. So we're 3 tenths the way from here to here. So we want to go 3 tenths the way from here to here. 3 tenths the way would be 0 0.253. 3, of course, is 3 tenths from 50 to 60. And so going from here so 10% is about 3 tenths the way of going from there to there. So going from there to there should also be 3 tenths the distance. And so this here is the closest value with one more decimal place for the value of z 
corresponding to an area of 10%. Again, this is 3 tenths the way from there to there. This is about 7 tenths the way from there to there. Same here, 3 tenths the way from here to here, 7 tenths the way from there to there. And that's how we use the exp extrapolation. We want to make sure that the fraction of the difference from there to there is the same as the fraction of the difference from there to 10%. And that is how it's done. Okay. <clears throat>